Right, on to a different story now, and family, colleagues and friends are mourning the death of veteran journalist Philip Ocheng, who succumbed to pneumonia at his Awendo home in Migori County. Philip Ocheng has been described as a wordsmith, editor and columnist whose journalistic work captured the imagination of readers for many years. The 82-year-old veteran journalist Philip Ocheng, who died last evening, had been admitted at Ombo Mission Hospital and was discharged last week. Thought, when translated into action, is the secret of all growth and intellectual development. Ocheng has been synonymous with journalism in Kenya for many decades, serving as an editor and columnist at a number of media houses, including Nation Media Group, he will be remembered as a great champion of great writing and grammar. One of his most famous books is The Kenyatta Succession, which he co-wrote with former nation journalist the late Joseph Karimi. We believe that uh, if you're going to do something, then you must do the best of it. So you must apply yourself. Um, he, was a, he was a great reader, uh, very, very um, uh, uh, deep intellectual in terms of drawing. Uh, drawing out the issues of the subjects that he chose, he chose to chase, and which, uh, and those who followed his columns could see that uh, he would then uh, uh, take on debates with uh, uh, many many intellectuals uh, on, on a variety of issues, and he didn't uh, he didn't fear taking unpopular positions. ODM leader Raila Odinga has termed Ocheng as a legendary columnist, saying through the power of the pen. Philip spoke to the most powerful and moved the society into action. NC leader Musala Mudavadi has eulogized Ocheng as a person who will be remembered for the trail-blazing role he played as one of Kenya's first African editors, saying his wonderful English lessons will be dearly missed. I think in, in many ways Philip's journalism speaks to uh, that spark that drew a lot of good journalists uh, to, to, our, to our space. Uh, when you look at uh, his writing and when you follow through his career, uh, you see very, very committed passion. Many of his former colleagues in the newsrooms have described Ocheng as a brilliant mentor who showed them the ropes in the field of journalism as they started their careers. Ocheng was among the first group of students airlifted to the U.S. for studies in 1959, but he did not complete his studies. When he returned to Kenya, he was picked as a trainee reporter by the nation and rose through the ranks to become the managing editor. Vincent Odur, NTV. May he rest in peace.